Brock's role remains the same. My position here as the founder of this organization uh, has always been uh, the president and the chairman of the board and, and continues to be. Brock says with more resources, they can treat even more people, keeping true to its mission from day one. Our family members right around here in southeast Kentucky and southwest Virginia, uh, we owe it to those people to do the best that we can for them. And we can safely say he indeed did that. It wasn't Absolutely. just the people who attended those clinics that came to love and appreciate Brock. Those fortunate enough to serve alongside him and follow his journey also felt his sheer force of good. Here to talk more about his time working side by side, Stan Brock, is Dr. Tim Williams. Uh, he is a dentist here in our East Tennessee community, general dentistry at UT. You have spent decades working side by side, Stan yes. Brock, uh, serving on many missions like Robin. You started partnering with him in the early 90s. Yes, I actually grew up watching Stan on television <laughs> on the Wild Kingdom. Yes. And imagine my shock when I was asked to work at a clinic and Mr. Brock was there and I was starstruck. Yeah. I didn't know what to say and I called him Mr. Brock and he said, you call me Stan. And that was in 1992 in Scott County. The first clinic I ever worked as a volunteer anywhere and it was life changing. What stands out to you about Stan? His humility. I've never seen someone who probably as well known as he was that was humble. He didn't take himself uh, seriously to the point that he ruled with authority over anyone. He was in the trenches. He gave every penny he made back to his, to his humanitarian ministry and he lived the life. And you, you say he was in the trenches. Truly, when he was on these mission oh, trips, yes. he was he was in oh. and in 100%. He was in more than most of us because he would be in the crowds. He would then be doing logistics behind the scenes. And then if someone interviewed him, he would be interviewing. And so he was literally everywhere. I've never seen such energy. He was older than me by a few decades, but could always outwork me. He's an amazing human. We looked at... Robin's piece that she did two years ago, 2000. Uh, it's actually in 2014. 2014. Um, just how much it's grown, but she remember those early days. Very simple. You didn't even yes. have tents, right? That's correct. We would set up in a lawn on a football field and uh, do what we did. Did not have suction. We did uh, we did dentistry the old-fashioned way, I suppose. And yet we were always full. People would come from miles and miles around to any clinic that we did uh, inspired us. Uh, as a matter of fact, at University of Tennessee Medical Center here in Knoxville, we have residents that have been introduced to volunteerism through remote area medical and gosh, many of them still go, even without me, they will go and do the clinic. So it's just an ongoing gift that uh, Stan really has given this community. Dr. Williams, thank you for sharing your, your memories of uh, a person who has certainly made an yes. impact on a lot of lives locally, oh, but yes. around the world. We Absolutely. appreciate you. Thank you.